Hi and welcome to RC Koptelav. Today I'm taking the next challenge with my M4. I'm trying to do flips and rolls, things I was doing a million times with my small M2, for instance, but with the M4 it's still a new thing. And I want to try something very new with the M4. I want to add some negative pitch to hold the flipping and rolling machine on one place, not to make such barrel movements to hold it on one place. Let's see how it works. Sometimes I have the feeling you should not think at all when you do it because you can think too much. So discuss with me if you should think while flying, if you should shut down your brain and just fly with the instinct. I sometimes think the instinct is the best advisor. So let's see how it goes. I will start with a little bit of flying around just to warm my brain up because for me it's always much easier to fly even very precise with such a machine for instance coming close to these plants with these yellow flowers going up going down on the other side then to focus on one thing only for instance now the backflips but I'm trying now the backflips. To make it visible for you, I will not go too far away and not too high. And I will make the first backflip without any negative pitch input, so it will be with some falling. Let's see how it goes. Now, you have seen it was falling down a bit. And I'm trying at once the next time with negative pitch when the heli is inverted. A little bit less falling, but you see the timing is everything but not perfect. So too much uh, escaping to the front. Now once again with negative pitch. Whoa, that was a catastrophe. <laughs> I was pulling it down with negative pitch because the negative pitch was coming in the wrong moment. So once again, without any pitch management. Ah, that was also bad. Sorry, it's for the camera. I'm doing these bad flips once again. Okay, a little bit better. And now once again with negative pitch. I hope there will be some difference. Not well. I don't know, my form is not the best today. Or I do have to do some normal flying, some precision flying. That's my most favorite thing at all. For instance, following this small path, not hitting any plants, turning to the left, flying back to us. Showing the beauty of this heli in some smooth movements. Loading it around in the air. And now I will try to make a side roll. First of all, without any negative pitch, so it will be a barrel roll. Okay, now. Oh, that was too low and too much barrel. <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> oh, I almost got a heart attack. <laughs> There's a lot, lot of barrel rolling. And I don't know if I'm now fit enough to do it with negative pitch because this is another thing. But okay, I will try once again. It's a little bit too windy as well. Oh, that was better. I think there was a visible difference, but I see it is really difficult to do this a lot. There was a much better version 
but I hope it was not too far away. I tried a little bit closer once again. The timing is really tricky. A little bit better, but I feel that my brain is going dead. So <laughs> I have limited concentration for such things. I'm flying now a little bit circles around these plants. They are very nice obstacles. They are not too hard. If I hit them, they will not kill my helicopter. But they are obstacles that are visible. And let's see if it goes the other way around, counterclockwise. <laughs> With my M2s, the barrel rolls with negative pitch are much easier in forward flight, but with this machine I'm still careful to do this because it has much more mass. That was a nice low approach. And I would say I do once again a backflip without any negative pitch now. A lot of falling. And I do a backflip with negative pitch to try to keep it on one place. So I'm focusing now. That was not the best, bad, worst thing, but also not really good because the cyclic was not good. And now you see in this training there's a lot of timing things to do. Once again, not good. So I have a lot of training in front of me what is for me a very good message because I have to go out flying a lot so this is for me what I really love but I cannot do too much of this training in one session I have to do some normal flying around circles figure eights I can try to do some very very small figure eights here close to the camera to make this heli more visible and I have to say if I have so much problems not problems but if there's so much training to do when I'm adding negative pitch just to keep the timing okay so I have to say I admire the 3D pilots that are doing all this crazy stuff, TikToks, pyro flips, all this crazy inverted flying. I have no idea how they do this. I once again want to try a backflip with negative pitch. Let's see if it stands on one place. Not at all. So you see, I have to train, I have to train, I have many reasons to go on the field every day and I try, no I see I have batteries low, so I don't try anything now, I try to land this machine in a good way, there we, where we took it up, and once again I'm full of admiration for the 3D pilots. I don't know how they do it. I'm doing such simple stuff and I have a lot of problems. So they are really great. I hope you like my flipping and rolling and I hope you stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you like the video, give it a like and see you again on RC Copter Lab. Bye.